Hey everyone, welcome to another round of Tuesday Night Legacy presented by Spellhole Games. My name's Eugene and I'm going to be your commentator. Uh, thank you so much once again for subscribing and liking to these videos. It's really helping up the numbers and uh, it's great for me personally to see those numbers go up. So uh, you're making me happy, so thank you very much. Uh, getting into this round, this is round two from March 15th. And on the left, we have returning Max on his Turbo Doomsday combo list. And on the right, we have Andrew playing his blue-red Tempo Delver list. So let's see if Andrew can defeat Max here. We see Max starting off the game with a fetched up basic islands, knowing that uh, the blue-red Delver deck does run Wastelands. Uh, Max does need access to all of his mana. Uh, it's usually a pretty tight fit especially with the combo uh, version that's trying to win super duper fast that he has access to all of his mana sources and doesn't get blown out by things like Wasteland. We see Andrew starting off with a turn one Delver of Secrets, always a great play for the Delver deck. If he can get this to stick and stay alive, not lose to the combo, it might ride him to victory. We see Max deploy a Duress here. This is actually the favored uh, discard spell of the Doomsday list. It doesn't lose you any life and it's taking any relevant cards that they want to hit that can interact with your combo, like a counterspell, things of that nature. Actually, we even saw Max take a counterspell here in days. We do see that Wasteland in Andrew's hand as well. So look at uh, Max playing around all these different things. Had to deploy the Underground Sea though straight from the hand. So we see the Doomsday go off. Doomsday for those that are uninformed, get to pick Max's favorite five cards from his deck, uh, and that becomes his library. All of the rest of the cards in his deck and in his graveyard get exiled. This is his combo finisher setup. Uh, he refers to this list as the Turbo Doomsday versus the Tempo Doomsday, as the uh, cards that are left in his library are going to set up for a quick single turn finish rather than spreading the turns out or spreading the game out over several turns to get the final Thassa's Oracle win. Seeing that Andrew has a couple of cantrips in a wasteland, Andrew or uh, Max has to play around this, picking your five cards, picking the pile, as it were, is um, a very difficult line of play for the Doomsday player, and sometimes you can end up, oops, end up actually losing the game if you build your pile incorrectly. So you gotta, he's gonna spend a lot of time trying to build this specific pile, as he sees that Andrew has quite a bit of interaction, and he could brainstorm or ponder into a counterspell. And with having to pay half of his life total in order to resolve Doomsday, that Delver of Secrets, if it flips, is a huge clock. It turns into a three-turn clock. Uh, and that is assuming that Andrew doesn't draw any direct damage in, say, Lightning Bolt or things of that nature. So a pretty difficult decision. I think, I think Max has four out of his five cards. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's four. That might be his hand, though. I'm not entirely certain. Yeah, there's five. Five cards. Difficult decision. So the cards that Max is looking at here often involve cycling in the turbo list. Uh, cycling is a an ability that cannot be countered by counter magic unless uh, it specifically says triggered or activated abilities. Uh, the only card that really interacts with those kind of abilities is a card called Stifle, which is probably why Max is taking so much time with this particular pile, because Andrew is well known for loving his uh, Stifles added to his list. So Max is maybe kind of next leveling himself, not entirely certain. Do I play around the Stifle? He doesn't have a Stifle, but he might draw into a Stifle. What do I do? But Max has made his decision. And it is Andrew's turn. No flip on the Delver. That, oh, no, we are in upkeep. So uh, there is a Brainstorm being activated or cast uh, during the upkeep in response to the Delver of Secrets trigger so that Andrew does get this Delver to flip. There's an expressive iteration. Sorcery will do it, turning that 1-1 one, one into a 3-2 flyer. The Wasteland deployed, getting rid of Max's mana. And he's down to 6. We see a Brainstorm. That's going to get a daze from Andrew. The tempo deck really firing on all cylinders here with that resolved Delver of Secrets. All he has to do is make sure that Max quite can't quite 
get to what he wants to do. He's just stumbling a little bit every turn, and that's going to buy Andrew just enough time to uh, get in with that Delver of Secrets. See the Ponder. I'm not entirely certain if Andrew has any uh, interaction, but it doesn't look like it matters. Three more damage, and that's going to be a game for Andrew. Going on to game two here. Uh, we're going to have Max start the play. Really showing what a tempo deck can do to, to interrupt a combo deck here. Starting off with an underground C. Going hard. I guess he needs both that black and blue mana the next turn. Might be a turn one. Uh, oh, it's a turn one personal tutor. Guess I missed this personal tutor. Uh, it's back here. There it is. So a personal tutor allows you to go and get any sorcery from your deck, put it on top of your library. Perfect for the uh, combo Doomsday deck as the sorcery that you want to see. It's going to be Doomsday, so it's almost like, I, I think Max told me he has three copies of the personal tutor in the list. So it's like you have seven copies of Doomsday rather than four. Really uh, increases the statistical odds that you'll see your Doomsday. Just a ponder from Andrew, pass it back. We see another duress from Andrew. It's a Narset Parter Avails. That's interesting. I like that as a uh, as a side uh, sideboard card. It might be mainboard. We'll see once his list comes out. But uh, Narset would have stopped An or Max from drawing extra cards and would have completely disrupted the turn or single turn victory from the uh, the Thassa's Oracle since he couldn't draw extra cards. Do you see a Dragon's Rage Channeler here? One of the other win conditions of the Delver deck. Kind of its own type of Delver, um, but it only becomes a 3-3 once you have Delirium, four cards, uh, unique card types in your graveyard. I think he only has, he has Planeswalker, Instant, and Land. I don't know, uh, that might be a Ponder, so that might be Sorcery, that might be all four. See a Brainstorm from Max. Ooh, two Force of Wills. Looks like a Lotus Petal. I'm not sure. We know he has the Doomsday because of the Personal Tutor. Looks like he's putting back at least one Force of Will and a Lotus Petal. Two Lotus Petals back? Land for turn. Looks like he doesn't need all that extra mana. But he's not ready to deploy yet. Doesn't have the, uh, doesn't have the Dark Ritual. Andrew with the... Um, Delver of Secrets here. We're going to see that Surveil trigger from the Dragon's Rage Channeler. Allows you to take those dead cards off the top of your library and just bin them right away. Maybe grow Delirium. All right, that's definitely a Ponder in the Grave, so that is going to be four types. So we see the uh, DRC getting in for three there. Another Ponder. Did know about the two petals on top. I wonder if Max is really just looking to go deep in the deck, trying to find those Dark Rituals. A little bit of uh, something called um, Brain Locked, as having a Brainstorm on top of the deck and not being able to see any lower doesn't really allow you to see a bunch of new cards. You just see the same cards you just saw. We see a little bit of a counter war here, a Force of Will fired off, Force of Will back, uh, and then uh, finally finishing it up with a Daze, which Max did have enough uh, mana to pay for. So in the end, the Doomsday will resolve here. Looks like Andrew spent his whole hand uh, in fighting for that Doomsday to get countered. So he's going to be left a little vulnerable here. We know he has the Volcanic Island in hand as he bounced it back with the Daze. Daze being one of the better free counter spells in uh, all of Magic's history. There's a reason it's banned in Popper. If you guys like Popper, you should check out some of our bonus videos. Just saying. We see Max making his pile here. I think he's a little less stressed about building this pile, especially if he can win this turn since Andrew is basically shields down here. Although, with Doomsday being a sorcery, um, and he already played his land for turn, he might have to wait one turn in order to execute. And you never know what your opponent is going to top deck. Might be a stifle. 
might be might be a force of will might be a wasteland you never know all right there goes all the cards Andrew taking a quick look through the deck one of the uh, caveats of doomsday is it exiles your entire library exiling is a uh, free information zone Ooh, down to one consider thos is oracle pitched edge of autumn draw a card edge of autumn again thos is oracle with cavernous souls and the floating blue mana that'll be one one and that's how the combo deck picks up the win andrew getting to start off here plays the dragon's rage channeler just saw them from the last game uh, early game DRC is going to provide a lot of value with the surveil triggers, making sure that you uh, at least can get rid of the, the garbage off the top of your deck, getting it into the grave. And if you know that there's a good card up there, then you can just leave it there. Ooh, okay, this is a fun interaction. So we see a personal tutor for the Doomsday, and then we see a surgical extraction trying to grab flooded strand but what this actually would have done was shuffle the deck unfortunately uh, max did have that lotus petal to pay the mana to play consider which allowed him to surveil one and then draw a card so max was able to get that doomsday into his hand andrew wasn't able to foil his plans that way but surgical extraction does say that you can take all of the uh, copies of the card and uh, exile them from the deck Andrew did find a flooded strand, uh, but he opted not to exile it. And uh, I did ask him why, and he told me that it was to increase Max's dead draws, because drawing an extra land here wasn't going to be super helpful. So we see an Edge of Autumn um, f to at least get a little bit of utility out of that underground sea since Andrew wastelanded it and another DRC activated. That's uh, quite statistically odd, seeing that single flooded strand straight to the top of the deck. And it was able to go and get him the underground sea. And so counting up, count, uh, cast the doomsday. We see that he has a duress. And a force of will in hand. If he's got a blue there, then he's got backup for any kind of counter magic Andrew might have here to interact. Not quite at delirium. If he was at delirium, it looks like land, uh, lightning bolt, surgical extraction, land. So it's only two uh, unique card types in the grave right now. But if Andrew can get to the four unique types, that's going to be six damage coming across which would be huge because I don't think Max can win this turn no matter what that card is under there. Unless it's some sort of crazy Street Wraith, Street Wraith, Street Wraith, make mana somehow for blue. No, I don't know. I don't think that he can, uh, I think he can pull it off this turn. It's going to have to be next turn. Giving Andrew at least one turn more to kind of seal the deal. Being at eight, pretty low. Very difficult to build the, the combo pile sometimes. Yeah, we see him uh, grabbing, it looks like at least Thassa's Oracle, of course, uh, Cavernous Souls, Edge of Autumn. Thinking about it again. Looks like an Underground Sea. Maybe two Thassa's Oracles? Might want two Oracles just in case one gets blown out. A lot of interaction from Andrew's side, having three cards in hand. Any one of those could be a Lightning Bolt or a Stifle. Andrew gets to quickly check and, uh, ooh, a misdirection. That's fun just to see if you know the list relatively well. And if you have a really good memory, you can kind of guess what the pile is that uh, Max has built. We do see a lightning bolt getting fired off here directly to Max's dome. 
That's going to be a double surveil, but Andrew really wanted that card on top of the library. So down to three. If nothing else, we see a ponder and a force of will. So taking the force of will would basically be like taking the ponder, and ponder can dig Andrew into other answers. So the ponder is taken here. Drawn a wasteland off the top. Brutal play. Only had the one land. Going to cat or cycle the edge of autumn here to at least draw the card. And there's no way for Max to come back. He doesn't have enough time to do so. So Andrew is going to take it here. The Delver match, getting it done. All right. That was pretty great. I can't remember what round three is right now, but I hope you join us for it anyways. And uh, please like and subscribe the videos, and we'll see you soon.